Hi guys, welcome back. For today's video, I am going to be putting two different primers that have a lot of the same claims to the test, and I'm going to do that right in front of you. So, I guess a little bit because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm back again with no makeup on, and I will be testing the Guerlain Laure primer. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Against the J1 Jelly Pack. So what I'm going to do is I will put the Guerlain on this side of my face and I will put the J1 on this side of my face. Now they both have claims of skincare properties and firming abilities in these makeup primers so I wanted to see if you could actually see any discernible difference to either side of my face when I show you both sides. So I guess we're just gonna start and then if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to be challenging a few of your possible thoughts and I don't want anybody to get mad at me if you like one or not the other or if you like both or anything like that. We all do like different products. This isn't an attack on you personally. If you do happen to like something that I don't like or if you don't like something that I do like either. So just stick around to the end because I do have some interesting information about both of these products to give you and I would love for you to see that. Okay, now I'm a little bit zoomed into my hand here because I want you to see the texture of both of these products and this one is the Guerlain and you can see it's a, it's sort of like a thin like serum-y gel type consistency. It feels very cool on the skin and it feels very liquidy when you rub it in. Okay, and now this is the J1, which you can see this is a much thicker jelly. It's like actually like jelly. It's very sticky. So for this one, they do actually recommend patting it into your skin instead of rubbing it. So there's a slightly different application technique for both products. And this one does take a little bit longer to dry. So when I apply this on my face, I will do this side first. Okay, I'm going to start applying the primers. And again, the J1 is going on this side of my face and the Guerlain will go on this side of my face. But I will apply the J1 first because it is stickier and it takes longer to dry. And it does say to pat it into your skin. It is a very sticky product. It's a strange sensation. I, I can't say I've ever tried a primer that feels like this. There, it is applied to the right side of my face. I'm going to let that dry and wipe my hands off and apply the Guerlain to the other side of my face. There are gold flecks in the Guerlain, but not enough to like cover your face in gold. So I'm not, I'm not really so sure what the benefits of having that are. This one you can just rub into the skin. Now the Guerlain one is applied also. The Guerlain is still drying and the jelly pack is substantially less sticky at this point. I think it would be safe to start applying my makeup and then you can see that also. This is the J1 side. This is the Guerlain side. Okay, for the foundation today, I am just going to use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I am finished applying my foundation and I am going to step away from the camera so that I can just uh, apply the rest of my makeup and I will be back once everything is on my face and then we can talk about it. Again, this is the J1 side and this is the Guerlain side. I'll be right back. So I'm back and I have my makeup all applied to my face. The Guerlain side is this side, the J1 side is this side. I personally can see a difference, mostly in the smile line. I think that the J1 side feels more hydrated and it feels, it does feel more firming. It feels almost like there's like a pulling sensation on my skin, but in a really good way. I am now going to talk about why I feel so silly for buying the Guerlain. I fell into the hype on this. It was, it 
first of all, it's a very pretty bottle. And second of all, YouTubers started talking about it around the same time and saying how wonderful it was. So I sort of bought into what they were saying. And I never actually even looked at the ingredients of this skincare slash makeup product. So I kind of feel silly for that. I should have definitely looked at the ingredients first. And I'm going to insert an image of both of the ingredients side by side and you tell me which one looks more like a skincare product. It's quite obvious to me that the J1 is an actual skincare product and the Guerlain is basically just... It's not good. The third ingredient of the Guerlain is alcohol. And yes, there are different kinds of alcohol that can be used in skincare. Not all of them are bad, but the one that's in Guerlain is very bad. It's going to age you. It's going to not do all of the things that you want it to do. And the thing about alcohol is it's it's a very misleading ingredient. When we put it on our skin, it does feel, it feels nice and it does give a firming sensation, but that's because it is sucking all of the moisture out of your skin. So it feels firming and cool. And also people who have oily skin or combo skin, they'll immediately notice that their skin has like a mattified look to it. So it seems good at first, but it's one of those things like, think of like a suntan. A suntan looks good, but you're damaging your skin in the long run. Alcohol is basically the same sort of thing. You are damaging your skin. It might look good momentarily, <laughs> even for a couple hours, but at the end of the day, it's just not a good thing. It's not a good thing to keep putting on your skin. And the J1, the fourth ingredient on the J1 is niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, which has proven anti-aging properties. And there's also adenosine in it, hyaluronic acid, there's peptides, there's all sorts of floral and herbaceous extracts. These are the things I want in my skincare. Not the alcohol, not the perfume, not all of those chemicals that you can't even pronounce. Like, that's not what I want in my skincare. So that, combined with the fact that the Guerlain is $74. 74! While the J1 is 42, not only is the J1 42, but the J1 is almost double the size of the Guerlain. You get 50 milliliters in the J1, and you get 30 in the Guerlain. So it's, to me, it's a no-brainer. Whether the product works for you or not, because even though it's definitely more aimed at skincare, it may still not work for you. But whether the product works for you or not, it's a much better product to put on your skin than the Guerlain. And I think a lot of us fall into this, to this little trap that they put us in with, okay, you get what you pay for, we think of things that way, Guerlain is a high-end luxury brand, you think of things that way, but we should really look at the ingredients. Look at the ingredients. If alcohol is one of the first six ingredients, you should probably just run. I'm not saying that there is not any alcohol in any of the products that I use across the board. I'm not I'm not that good yet with becoming that discerning of a consumer. However, for $74, I certainly would not want the ingredients that Guerlain has given us with this product. The firming effect that you feel when you put it on, it's just drying your skin. And that's that's all it is. There is there's nothing lasting to that. It may help hold makeup on, but it's not giving any sort of firming, lasting effects at all. A lot of you enjoy the Guerlain product, so I'm not trying to make anybody angry or upset. I feel a little silly myself with the fact that this is a, an item that I purchased. Knowing what I know now, I don't think I would, and I certainly would never repurchase it. Gold Flex in it, whether or not that truly has any skincare benefits, I don't know, but what it ends up being is you have like a little fleck here, and a little fleck here, and a little fleck here. I, I don't really see the point of that, other than just making it look like a luxurious bottle for us to buy. To me, it's just, it's overall just a much more gimmicky product that is just aimed at taking our money. And they did a good job. They took my money, they took a lot of your money, they took, it worked. 
they sold us, but I personally believe that the J1 is a hundred thousand times more firming than the Guerlain, and it my skin feels nice. It feels I do have dry skin, so it, it still feels hydrated. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel dry. <laughs> my skin does not feel dry. It's a much more enjoyable product. You get more, you pay less, and it has much better ingredients for your skin like across the board. So whether or not it works for you, that's for you to decide if you try it, but it has the good ingredients. It does have those. The Guerlain, really, it, it doesn't. It doesn't have anything that is majorly beneficial to the skin. And when I'm looking side by side at those two sets of ingredients, I definitely go more towards the J1. I will let you guys decide if you see a difference in both sides of my face. Again, I do see most of the difference in this area right here. And this is the J1 side, this is the Guerlain side. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? And do you have either one of these primers? How did you like them on you? And if you do own the Guerlain, compare it to something else you own that says that it's firming. Do this, do half of your face with one and the other half with the other. Check it out, see for yourself. That's it for now. Thanks for coming back. I hate this part. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.